I have the great pleasure now of being joined by Dr. Art Rastenhad, who's giving the state-of-the-art lecture, The Future of Interventional Urology. So tell me, in your words, what do you think the future of interventional urology looks like? I think it's a transition away from our old techniques, incorporating new imaging technology as well as interventional techniques in the treatment of urologic patients. It gives us the opportunity to get patients back to work quicker, less morbidity of the procedures with equivalent outcomes is our goal. So talk about specifics in that. Looking specifically, one area is focal therapy for prostate cancer. It's a hot topic right now, this idea that we can just treat a part of the prostate while leaving the rest untouched so men don't suffer the side effects of leaking urine and or erectile dysfunction after treatment. And they can do this as a same day outpatient procedure and be back to work the following day. And I'm sure patients love this idea. What oh. about the physicians? Physicians are a little bit more hesitant to adopt new technologies without data, so we have to spend time researching and developing these products and treatment paradigms. So what is it that's creating the next paradigm shift? It's, it's, it's multifaceted. I think what drives it is our desire to improve care for our patients and improve outcomes and get the patients back to work faster. Uh, different aspects of interventional urology, focal therapy, you get back to work quicker, less complications for prostate cancer care. Varicocele embolization, you don't have a post-op course, you have a limitation for a few days, and then you get back to work as well. So it's really shifting how the patients can be treated and still maintain their quality of life and their jobs. What are some of the ways urologists can begin to prepare themselves for this next shift in urology and urologic care? We have a special program at Northwell Health. We're looking at a collaborative environment with our interventional radiology colleagues and the urology department. We train both interventional radiologists as well as urologists in these techniques. So hopefully building the physician of tomorrow, regardless of the silo where they came from, it's all just about great care. Each uh, practice has different deficits or limitations in how they were trained. A urologist has to learn advanced imaging and intravascular and 3D guidance techniques. Inter interventional radiologists have to learn the biology of disease and urology to apply these techniques. So we create this hybrid work environment so we can learn from each other. So now, how do you begin to get it going? It's about educating. We've created the Focal Therapy Society to, treat, uh, to train and expose urologists to those therapies with image-guided treatments there. We have fellowships we're designing to train urologists and interventionalists, as well as giving talks and education here at the AUA to really spread the, the idea. Some people don't even know these things exist. Yeah. Well, I can't wait to see the future then. Dr. Rastenhead, thank you so much. <laughs> I really appreciate being here. Thank you for having me speak.